Hello. All right, so here's an update on the tool that I bought that I mentioned a couple weeks ago. It took about 15 days for it to come in. That's probably not always the case, just the times that we live in, and it took time to get here. So this is a Fordham uh, LX series motor. It's made, the LX is made for strong torque, which is necessary for a chisel, an auto chisel. And this, as in all chisels I've had before in regard to power chisels, they're really just for all the bulk removal. And the bulk removal for me is quite a bit of work. So, you know, I'm getting older and I don't want my hands destroyed. So I need to be able to bulk remove um, with little effort so that I can get into the nitty gritty carving stuff. So I bought the Fordham LX. It's specific for torque, which is required for the chisel. The unit itself and the flex shaft come together and you buy a handpiece separate and the chisel is separate as well. This came in a kit. I'd be happy to help you find that if you want. For the most part, I have tons of chisels because I've had lots of other auto carvers before, handheld ones, and they fit also. So all my flex, flex cut shafts will be usable in this unit. Now that said, let me give you an example of what, how this thing works. You've got to hang it, try to put it in a way that allows you to use the flex shaft without kinking it or bending it in any manner. And then get your piece. And for the torque, for the torque that's required, this motor, the LX, for this required power chisel, they recommend that you use the uh, selector here, this type, instead of the pedal, because this gives you more control over how much speed is being used. I'm fine with that, but again, I'm just testing it today for the first time. So here's a piece that I'm working on right now. Uh, quick repast. It's really just a hummingbird. And so let's look at how it can cut. This is the chisel that came with the machine. So that's good, but I'll be using other chisels as well, such as these and many others. So for now, let's test this out. I did do a few cuts earlier. I will choose start, and then I need it to go up to around here. So looking on to cut. So it can take off little pieces as you can see. No problem. In addition to larger ones. Also no problem. So, so far I'm very happy with it. Let me get the other tools I used to use. So I used to use an auto mock. An auto mock is this and it lasts you know when they first came out i don't know maybe 10 or 15 years ago they came out and they were really really good quality these are the htc 30s but i've bought four of these they're 400 dollars a pop i think they've dropped to 300 dollars now but i'll never buy another one of these it's a very good device when it's working and it's super convenient because you can just hold it all over your piece but this is just as good, if not far better, based on the motor type. So, you know, I think I've made a good purchase, and I'll work through it and see what little foibles it has and benefits, and uh, move on from there. I'm really happy. If you consider the size of this in your hand, and also this is made of metal, so it got hot pretty quickly. So. You know, you had to put this down, otherwise burn yourself. This one, it's got some aluminum caps and plastic. So I'm thinking this is just going to be fantastic. I already like it. I think I'm just going to 
muddle through and try to play with it and see how it works out for me. Thanks.